Hello everyone, welcome to part 44 of Dr. Wayne Dyer's 101 Ways to Transform Your Life. Part 44. Here he says, curb your need to be right. That the more you um, just stop having to be right. Whenever somebody says something, instead of having to just battle them about it, instead say, you know what, you're right. <laughs> Now, this may seem factually incorrect in many cases, this may seem problematic, but let's kind of think about that. Because the problem with the ego is it expects the world to be perfect around it. Basically, the ego is set in a perspective that it is a god. That everything revolves around it and then it should just be able to snap its fingers and everything should just unfold exactly as it wants. But when we curb our need to be right, we more and more accept our reality that we are not gods, that we don't have to have everything be perfect, that we can really bet on more li likely outcomes. So the ego expects to be a god to be able to snap its fingers and just say it's going to come up 33 black every time on the wheel. Like, I wanted this to be perfect. Oh, came up perfect, came up perfect, came up perfect, came up perfect. But in the game of roulette, if you're betting on 33 black, you're not going to win more than like 1 in 100 times. <laughs> so the ego is constantly just losing like 99 out of 100 times, and it's just being super ineffective at that. So that's really the problem we have here of the ego just naturally bets on really bad outcomes. It's a horrible <laughs> guy when it comes to making money at like that kind of game. <laughs> And that's just why so many people are so unhappy. They're just constantly needing to be right about everything and needing things to be perfect. But Dr. Wayne Dyer here with Part 44 is just saying, you know what? This principle, we don't have to be right every time. We can accept that other people can be right. And as soon as you do that, other people are really pleased when you say they're right. They feel fantastic. They feel like, oh, thank you so much. It's like you just gave them their favorite meal and they got to eat it. And they're just like, oh, man, you know. I feel so good. So you really improve your relationships when you let other people be right. And the ego's like need for control and perfectionism like really d diminishes the more you kind of do that. That's basically it for part 44. I will see you guys next time with part 45. So stay tuned.